Hey guys, Chris Cards here with another Through the Mail Monday. I got four returns for you today. Right now we're checking out Griffey, my backyard great blue herring. I've been here for about four years and he's been here for about four years as well. I've seen him pretty much every single morning. It's pretty awesome because he likes to hide along the shoreline. So something fun every morning is to see if I can spot him. He's super still, so of course he's hard to find. But And there he is. I thought I would show him today since he was very easy to spot this morning and chilling out there. Every now and then I'll see him with a frog in his mouth. Plenty of frogs to go around out there, by the way. This one's coming from North Carolina, our first return. We have Floyd Wicker. Floyd Wicker signed his 70 and 71 tops card. Floyd was not a very prolific major leaguer. He had four years, pretty much came off the bench as a pinch hitter and a utility player in the outfield. So there you go. Jose LeBoy is on his 70 rookie stars card along with him, and I do believe I have that out to Jose LeBoy, so there you go. I think those are probably his only two cards, or at least only two mainstream cards out there available, so thank you very much, Floyd Wicker. Two of two, thank you so much. His only home run came off a guy on the White Sox named Floyd Weaver, so how about that? From one Floyd to another Floyd. All right, gang, return number two is coming from Indianapolis, Indiana, and this actually has a Address label on the back. Got a little wet. Hopefully the cards are okay. But address label on the back from Dyer Miller. He played seven or eight years in the major leagues as a pitcher. Played for the Orioles, Angels, Blue Jays, and the Mets. He mostly coached, though. He was in the Cardinals organization for 19 years. And he, the last kind of coaching gig he had was 2012. He was the Cardinals bullpen coach. Little note right there. We'll read that in a second. Dyer Miller signed uh, an index card, and both of my tops cards, uh, two index cards he signed. Very cool. Neat signature. And there you have it. Two of two from Dyer Miller. Actually, kind of two of four. He did sign the index cards as well. And he wrote a note. Always a, f always a favorite of mine when the players interact a little bit. Let's see what this note says real quick. Chris, thanks for your nice note and for being a baseball fan. Hope you are enjoying the 2019 season and that your favorite team is doing well. Best wishes to you and your family, Dyer. Super cool. Always nice getting a note back from the player. All right, gang, our third return coming to us from Santa Ana, California. No address label on here, so we're going to have to find out the old-fashioned way. Open this envelope up and see who we've got Got our index cards back. Looks like a 71 tops card peeking out from under the index card. And we've got Ed Acosta. All right. Ed Acosta, first and foremost, has an awesome signature. Look at all the loops and the E and the T and the A at the very end of the signature there. Plus, he inscribed it with his number. He played for about three seasons, maybe four seasons. I don't want to cut him short, but I think it was like three seasons with the Pirates and the Padres. And that was pretty much it. Not a huge, crazy major league career, but... Has a few pretty cool cards that he made even cooler by signing them. Really nice signature. Really appreciate the return from Mr. Acosta. That looks cool. Look at those signatures. Pretty awesome. All right, guys. Fourth and final return of the day. Thanks for watching. This one's coming from Greenville, uh, North Carolina. And it looks like it's going to be Gil Cohen. The stamp right there on the back. And there it is. This will be my 1950 Bowman card. I'm getting... I'm getting up there. I've got four or five Bowman from 1950 signed. It's absolutely incredible that I'm getting some of these cards signed. But these guys are still around. Gil Cohn is 97 years young. Still signing, but there's a letter in here. Let me check that out. 97. on in Last year he turned 97. So there it is. 1950 Bowman card. Let me check this letter out real quick. Signed it nicely there. There's my letter to him, my index card with my request on it. There it is. The letter basically said he's not signing as much as he used to, so they apologize for the lengthy return, although I thought it was pretty quick. And I'm not going to share the address, although the address was on the very beginning of this video. I'm not sure if he's signing still. I've read on his Wikipedia page that he stopped signing as of January 16th of 2020, so this is his signature has just gotten worse and worse, although pretty nice looking here, but played 11 years in the bigs, Washington Senators. He was a part of that inaugural Baltimore Orioles team back in 1954, one of two still living 
from that day. Thank you very much, Mr. Cohn and family. Thank you to the family for sending me the letter, which basically was an apology letter for having him take so long to sign, although they don't need to apologize for anything. Just happy to get one back signed. Very impressive at his age, but it sounds like he's got some health issues, obviously. At 97, we're all going to have health issues. Uh, some of us are half that age and have health issues. So thank you, Mr. Cohn and family. Uh, that's it for Through the Mail Monday. You guys have a great week. I've got some more videos lined up for you today. I went to a Ducks basketball game on Friday. I went to one on Sunday. They won both games, and we're going to going down to California on Wednesday night, and we're going to uh, the game against Cal on Thursday with my buddy. So got a full week planned. I'll be out of town for the entire week, basically. So I'm going to try to get another video or two up, but... I'm not making any promises. You might not see me until next Through the Mail Monday, next Monday. I was yesterday at the Duck UCLA game when they made the Kobe announcement over the speakers there at the arena. I, I recorded that. It was super weird, super odd, terrible day uh, for sports, basically. It's going to be one of those where were you when moments in sports history when um, you found out Kobe um, had been killed in the accident along with eight other people. So... I was at a basketball game, and uh, it was weird, super weird. So I recorded it for those that want to check it out. Some pretty strong connections with the Oregon Ducks, actually, on that helicopter. Sabrina Ionescu was, of course, uh, who will be the number one draft pick in the WNBA this season. She's uh, the Ducks star senior. She was pretty good friends with Kobe, as well as uh, the, 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 the baseball coach, college coach on here, who passed with his wife and daughter. Uh, his son played for the Oregon Ducks in 2011 to, I think, 2013 or 2012 to 2013, something like that. He's now, uh, his name's JJ. He's now scout. He's now a scout in the Red Sox organization. But and there's a photo with them wearing all their duck gear. So kind of weird little uh, parallels there with that in Oregon sports. So there's that. Like I said, terrible day. Pretty crappy day. But life goes on, right, guys? Um, hope everyone has a great week. Enjoy the rest of January. It's coming to a close, and as it's coming to the close, we are getting closer to the start of the baseball season. We're even getting pretty close to the Daytona 500 again, just like that. So uh, pretty excited for both those things. And uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. All right, guys, quick update. He's still out there. It's been three hours now. He's he's hunkered down a little bit as the wind and the rain have picked up a bit, but he's still chilling, waiting on his uh, waiting on his prey to just walk up to him and uh, get eaten. I guess. I guess that's uh, their strategy. <laughs> Go, Griffey.